Hey guys, welcome back to Better Than Wolves, and today we actually have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of different things. We have different tools on us, we have fully restored armor, some uh, resetting experience, and that's because, well, we just died. And <laughs> today we're actually going to finish up what we did last weekend, or not last weekend, but last episode, and... That was the water wheel. We're going to get that thing spinning up today, which shouldn't take too long because I already have it spinning up. And we're going to be making a turntable and seeing how that works. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Alright, guys. So... First things first, I was actually working on getting us up, made up some, uh, I was going to try to get us made up some dynamite and see if, uh, if I couldn't get that to work, but the problem with that is, is that I accidentally blew up the side of the house in the process. Yeah, so a little renovation is going to be needed, I think. Um, yeah, zombie's not too happy about it either. I don't think so. Yeah, so I was um, over here, and you notice that uh, you know we, we had this, this a little bit higher over here, this little patch of ground over here, and I was uh, working on this tree, and next thing I know, I was jumping over here, and boom, I hit the ground too hard and went kablooey. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. We cannot make dynamite, oh, we got another zombie head, we cannot make dynamite yet. Um, from what I'm understanding, but I can show you guys a very volatile way of exploding to death. Now, doing this, I do not recommend, uh, I do not recommend it with any items, because I did kind of lose my diamond pick, which is kind of unfortunate, and all the experience I had. See, now that I'm at level 7, I really don't care anymore. <laughs> um, that experience up to level 15 is pretty easy to get back, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and make that blasting powder real quick. And then we'll go check out the water uh, water wheel that we have turning up. And then we'll go ahead and go make the turntable for today. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to make explosions. Maybe something kind of fun. Alright, so this is tallow. And this is what we're going to be using. We're also going to need some hellfire dust. I pretty much lost everything else that we had as far as hellfire dust uh, goes. So... If you do need some more Hellfire Dust, basically just ground up some netherrack in your millstone. Uh, get your ground netherrack and put it on top of your hopper with some soul sand and it'll give you Hellfire Dust. Now, we do need some pork. I'll show you guys how to get the tallow here in a second. This is how you get tallow. Right, so we're going to need our stoked fire. To get tallow, we need to take a cooked pork chop or a pork chop in general any pork chop actually um, I think you can use actually eggs as well raw eggs I think you can use a few things but it, basically what we're doing is we're trying to extract the fat content out of it now we do need our we do need to stoke the fire as well we do need a stoked fire for this so we're gonna grab our hand crank now we can't we can't actually make dynamite yet because technically we do need to go to the end to get end stone apparently. Which is kind of a pain because <laughs> I don't like going to the end and I don't like having to gather the, the nether pearls considering we, we have the end portal, right? So that's, you know, that's, thankfully that's one trip saved. Oh crap, I messed up there. Oh, maybe I can make it. Nope, didn't make it. I'm going to start this one over. So anyways, we found the, the nether portal already which is saving us some ender pearls already so that's that's kind of a good thing and then we just need how many do we need like eight nine something like that uh, maybe oh actually I think it's 12 isn't it isn't it like 12 we need All right, anyways so we just cooking up our poor trap gave us some tallow and now we need to combine tallow with hellfire dust and this does not require stoking the fire in fact, I recommend you do not stoke the fire on this <laughs> mixture because I'm pretty sure it'll explode in your face. So I do not recommend stoking the fire in this one. Just let it cook and do its thing. Alright, now, this 
right here. This is called blasting oil. Now this stuff is very, very volatile. Do not, I repeat, do not fall two, I think it's like th two or three blocks. I think it's like three blocks or more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. I did make, re kind of redo all this right here. But uh, let me throw that in there. Let's throw everything in here. Everything. I mean everything. Even armor. Needs to go in there. Because uh, it's going to go boom. Now, we'll just go ahead and leave two on us. And I don't want to do it around here. <laughs> in fact, I'm kind of. Now that I know this, how did this cow get out? Where did you come from? And then there was a sheep over here, too. What the heck? I don't understand what's going on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, too, real quick, that we do have a few new things. We've added our paths in here. And some new paths put in. Uh, paths put up to this area here and to that new building over there, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the power of this blasting oil and the reason why you don't want to fall with it. Now, when I fell with it, I was kind of like, what just happened? Was it another creeper? And then I was like, you know what, it wasn't a creeper. So, spawn is going to be over there. So, here we go. Yep. See? See what happens? That's why you don't fall with blasting oil. <laughs> Figured I'd show you guys. Um, and that's what happened to me. And that's why half the house blew up is because uh, I accidentally fell with blasting oil, not knowing that it was going to go boom. So, uh, mistake on my part. Now, let's go see how big this hole was. You guys will be able to see how big it was. Oh, wow. Ew, have I been in that one yet? That's a um, ravine down there. You can actually see through the world. Um, no, I have not been in that. We're going to have to go to that. Um, duly note that I need you guys to timestamp that and remind me, please, if you guys are watching this this far in, please timestamp that for me and let me know later so I know to come back to that point and see exactly where that's at because uh, we don't really have like any F3 stuff to tell us, like coordinates or anything, so I need to do it based off visual perspective. Who do you guys would? That'd be great. And Cal. I want to slaughter you later. So let's show you guys why you need to put everything up. Because you're not going to have any blasting oil left. You're not going to have any items left. Trust me, I know. I went to go look. Oh, crap. It's not even that big. Well, that made me look stupid. Well, considering... Let me go ahead and put it this way. I did have about... I want to say four pieces of blasting oil on me. So... I'm thinking the more you have on you, the more it's going to go boom. So that wasn't a very big hole, but I promise you, it was big. That's how big it was. That's unaltered right there. <laughs> so try it with four. If you guys are interested in this and seeing how much things go boom, uh, try it with four, maybe six pieces of blasting oil. And tell me how big the explosion is because this is what happened to me. I fell like right here. This is exactly about where I fell. And it went boom. Actually, it probably fell like right about here, but a couple layers up. Probably like right here is where I fell, and then everything went boom. There's a sheep in my basement. My dogs are outside. It's getting dark out. Let's go take a look at that uh, windmill or that <laughs> water wheel. So, a lot of you guys caught on on this last episode that uh, water did need to be poured on top of it. Now, Problem is, is that we can't really, right now, can't really move or pump water in any form or fashion onto our water mill, so we kind of have to utilize, you know, water sources coming out of the walls like this. And uh, we only got three of them. We have one here, we have one on the other side of that wall right there, and then we have one over there by our um, tunnel. And this one being the closest, I figured we'd go ahead and use this one for the time being until we can get our quote unquote pump made up and this is basically how it works so you can see this gearbox here is being powered you can see the mechanical power twisting on this this thing should always work during all times of the day even during storms and such so uh, good reliable source of power here 
and we will definitely be utilizing it very very soon so let's go ahead and get and uh, work on our turntable now as far as the house goes guys you guys are probably wondering Bentley what are you gonna do with the house well oh papers oh yeah I gotta show you guys what that is over there and uh, the amount of time that I've actually spent in here what are you guys looking at I didn't I didn't mean to do it to the house, okay? Jeez. Plus, you guys should like it outside. You guys will poop out here. I won't get mad. I promise. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I guess I might re uh, renovate the house, maybe? Uh, get rid of the cobblestone. I might put in some bricks, maybe? That's what I'm thinking about doing. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get retooled up. Let's get... Uh, Get all our stuff back here. Grab our torches. Put our armors on. This goes on three. This goes on four. That goes there. This goes on five. That goes on six. There we go. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, so let's get some cobblestone. I want to get how many pieces do I need for this? I need what? Uh, four is for thirty-two. I think that's right. All right, now we need a piece of redstone. We're going to need some oak wood sidings, but you know, any siding will do, I suppose. We're going to need some, or a gear, and that should actually do it until our stone's done cooking. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Stone, we're waiting on you. So now I'm going to probably wind up utilizing some of the cook or the um, ovens furnaces I'm losing my mind here I'm thinking ahead um, utilize some of these furnaces to cook us up some more stone and probably like I said replace a lot of this with uh, stone bricks I might even go down to the the stronghold grab some of those bricks and maybe even use those uh, on the house up here leave some of the wood might, might even get rid of the wood I don't even know we'll see uh, fix up the roof but anyways while that stone cooks up even though we only need a few pieces of it let's go ahead and head up here I want to show you guys what I did off camera for a while like I said I improved the paths here and then I rebuilt or built this place here and this is actually our chicken coop and what I did so long off the camera was I actually went out trying to find chickens and they were actually a little bit hard to find uh, they're quite a ways in that direction Past a jungle in that direction and I found some chickens on top of a mountain made a place up there for a little bit and pretty much just waited for them to poop out some eggs now in this version they are hardcore chickens which means they cannot breed with uh, seeds they cannot breed with wheat the only way you can actually get chickens is by throwing eggs on the ground and when they hat or if they break they might actually hatch a small chicken you know baby chicken or they'll give you some uh, what are these raw eggs they might even give you some raw eggs so I brought back two stacks of those and wound up getting two chick chicklets and uh, yeah so since then we get four so that's basically what we've got so far so all right let's go ahead and see if we can't make this thing up real quick this turntable so I believe this is the recipe here turntable there you go your turntable, so. And these are the stone bricks I was talking about. We'll probably use those for the house. Now, we're going to have to go across here. And this will give me a chance to level this out, because I have been thinking about leveling this, this area out here. Well, I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> All right, let's come over here and see if we can't utilize this water wheel. I keep calling it a windmill. But it's definitely not a windmill. It's uh, definitely a water wheel. All right, so we need some axles. We're gonna need some axles. We're gonna need some probably a couple of gearboxes. And that'll work for now. Seriously, Wolf, you just came over here to kill that sheep. Right, well, well, if you chill out right there for just a minute, I got some bones in here for you. Guess it wouldn't hurt to have another pup around, would it? Come here, buddy. Hello? Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Uh, yes, you are. Hey, here's your first task right there. Take care of him. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, kick his butt. You're kicking his butt. You're doing good. Uh, 
you're dying. Okay, you did good. You did good, little guy. Alright, why don't you come up, come up over here. I'm gonna grab me a pork chop. Wait, hey, where you at, little guy? There you are. Why don't you come sit with these guys for a little bit? Watch the front yard. Don't be eating any sheep. I lost a whole herd of sheep over there to one of your kind. Don't give me those look. Don't even look at me like that. You know what you guys do. Just sit there. Shush. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this working properly. So the way I want to do this is, let's see. All right, so we want this to poke upwards. We want that to do that. And actually, I think I did that wrong already. Let's remove that. And I want input coming in this side. So that's going to give power to this. And now we should be able to put this up here. So now this guy's gonna have power. And I don't exactly know how this guy works, but I'm going to try and figure it out. So it looks like it has a few different settings. Now let's see if we can't just jump up here for a second. I, I'm imagining it's got something to do with blocks on top of it. I do know you can actually make um what do you call that uh, pottery from this using clay and such. But I'm noticing I as I put items on this, I I cannot click on it anymore. Like I can't even click on it now. Does it need to be a bare hand? Okay, it does. Let's try this on top again. See, I like here clicking. Hmm. Oh, I thought that, I thought that was a creeper coming down. I was like, oh crap, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Let's let's try and set it on top. Let's actually try a side. And let's see if we can't go get some. Actually, we'll just borrow this one for the time being. And I want to see something. So we'll discontinue power. We'll add power. Okay, that doesn't work. I'm thinking there's got to be something here that's going to allow this thing to spin the way we want it to. Hmm. It takes it. I'm gonna to have to do some research on this guy. Sometimes these things are a little bit easy to, to learn. Sometimes they're not. Like like I said, I just know how to make the thing. I haven't looked on how to actually use it. Like I don't I don't I know what it's used for, but I don't know how to actually utilize the item. Is what I'm trying to get at. So we got a clicker up there that does something. here clicking itself something on it is clicking itself it's supposed to rotate from what I understand and, and they might have taken it down because you know no, that's just a gearbox because I was looking at the recipe on making dynamite and it looked like I could but basically what happened is when they updated they actually changed their recipe to make it even harder to make dynamite right now so in this version it's a little bit harder to make dynamite and uh, that's why I didn't do that today I just showed you guys some uh, some interesting facts on blowing up is basically what I did <laughs> hey guys sorry about that uh, I went ahead and uh, did a little bit of editing on this because I wanted to read up on this. I didn't want to leave you guys uh, guessing on this. And uh, I figured out uh, what we can do with the turntable for the time being, seeing how I can't get it to actually spin uh, you know, uh, blocks the way I want it to. And I went ahead and cleaned up some of the, uh, the dirt issues here. Uh, but uh, I did went and grab some clay from out in the river. Now, I want to see, I did have some bricks. Now, we're going to try some stuff real quick to go ahead and spice this up a little bit. 
So let's go ahead and try this out. Now, I've already kind of tested it out real quick, so we're going to try and see if we can't uh, figure out how to get this working properly. Now, uh, basically, we're going to make a clay block and place this on top. Now, what this is going to do is shave. It's, it's actually supposed to turn the clay and actually shape it into pottery. Now, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to lower this up. The, the one on the far left is the shortest tick. And then I think it's like half a tick or something. So let's see. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And I don't know how we're supposed to grab this. I think, do we just break this or something? Oh, we do. All right, so we have unrefined pottery. That is one version there. Let's go ahead and make another one up. And we'll go ahead and click this down to the smallest to make this faster. So we need to go to the second stage, which is... Right there, let's go ahead and switch this off. This looks like a planter. So this is another set of unrefined pottery. Let's go ahead and make up two more, because I think there's only four, uh, four different uh, levels of this that we can do. So there's one level. Second one, and the third one is right here. Actually, there might be five now that I think about it. No, I think there's only four. Yeah, I think there's only four. So let's go ahead and pick this one up. Now, each of these do and make something different from what I understand. And we are probably going to get to most of these later on. But for the time being, I just wanted to show you guys this. And I'm going to show you guys how to cook them up. Now, it might take a second to actually cook it up, but uh, we're definitely going to get there. So there we go, let's stop this one. And this one's a little bit smaller. This almost looks like a cookie jar, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so these are the four that we have. I'm gonna show you guys what happens when we leave it on the entire time. All right, and here we go. So it should give us all four uh, clay balls back. There's our first level. Second level, I guess I can call these tiers too, also, I guess. There's our third tier. Final one, final level. And then it, it goes down to this small thing down here, which in turn just breaks off like that. So that's it. All right, now let's go ahead and head back to our bellows, because we are gonna need the bellows. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, we'll leave that switch there for the time being. And to do this, we're going to need to pick up our cauldron. Yeah, that's totally unsafe. I totally agree with you guys. All right, so wait, let's go ahead and turn this off. I didn't want this thing burning up in the fire. All right, so from what I'm understanding is that we take bricks and we'll put it on top of the stoked fire like so. I am going to place a block there. I'm going to place a block there. Actually... I should have done it. I want one there, one there, one there. So this is kind of the arrangement right here that we want. This is supposed to be the kiln, from what I'm understanding. And then we take our pottery. I'll go ahead and do this one because I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. And we right click and place it in there. And we'll go ahead and turn our fire back on. And let's go ahead and stoke the fire real quick. see if this works so you can see it's kind of cooking there how it just changed so it's gonna be cooking here now this might take a second so I uh, might have to speed up this part oh wait nope nope <laughs> no speeding up there we go uh, the planter now we we're supposed to be able to place this guy down and see, I don't know we might even be able to do it from here new. Um, I think you're able to put dirt in this thing somehow. <laughs> Obviously that's not how you do it. I'll have to read up on it, but oh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> that made a, a breaking, a glass breaking sound, so I was kind of worried about that for a second. So anyways, that's basically how you make a kiln. Now you can close this up on all sides and like say for instance put a stoked fire here you know, one on this side, one probably on the back side back there, and possibly one on the front, and it 
might even cook it a little bit faster so just uh, something to think about but anyways guys that's going to wrap it up for this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, let me know what you guys think you guys can leave me a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you guys when and if I can uh, also if you guys would rate the video I'd greatly appreciate it and until next time I will see you guys then so goodbye